In 1837, a British archaeologist, Sir Alexander Cunningham, underwent archaeological excavations in an attempt to trace Buddhist history through its architectural remains. This was known to be the first serious attempt of its kind in history. This followed after Cunningham met James Princip, who ignited his interest in Buddhist history. James Princip was a British numismatist and an Indian scholar. A numismatist is a specialist in numismatics, a study of collection of currency, including coins, tokens, paper money, and related objects. One of the numerous excavated sites by Sir Cunningham during the span of his archaeological excavations between 1852 to 1873 was these ruins of Buddhist monastery here in Jamal Gari. This site sits on top of a mountain overlooking the villages around its periphery on an elevation of 122 meters above ground level. According to Sir John Marshall, another famous British archaeologist, this old monastery is one of the earliest sites built in the region. Jamalgari is a village located 13 kilometers from Mardan city, the province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in North Pakistan, and about 350 kilometers away from the country's capital, Islamabad. This ruins, according to research, was formerly a Buddhist monastery from the 1st to 5th century AD or after death or after the disappearance of Jesus Christ. And when Buddhism was flourishing in this Indian subcontinent and also when at the time Mardan was a part of the Gandhara civilization. The word Gandhara, according to the most prominent opinion, means the land of fragrance. Because of this, the locals call this site Jamalgari Kandarat. It is also called Kafirokote and the local Pashto language. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, Gandhara civilization existed in what is now northern Pakistan and Afghanistan from the middle of the first millennium before the Christian era to the beginning of the second millennium of the Christian era. Although many major powers ruled over this area during that time, they all had in common great reverence for Buddhism and the adoption of the Indo-Greek artistic tradition which had developed in the region following Alexander's invasions into India. Gandharan civilization declined, suffered destruction after the invasion of the White Hands or the people who lived in Central Asia during the 5th and 8th centuries. It has been speculated that Gandhara was a triangular tract of land about 100 kilometers east to west and 70 kilometers north to south, lying mainly to the west of the Indus River and bounded on the north by the Hindu Kush mountains. The extent of Gandhara proper actually included the Peshawar Valley, the hills of Swat, Deer, Bunir, and Bajawar, all of which lie within the northern boundaries of Pakistan. Well-known cities of the Gandhara include Takshasila or Taksila, Parushafura or Peshawar, and Pushkalabati or Mardan, where remains have been discovered and continue to be found to this day.
The Gandharan art style flourished and achieved its peak during the Kushan period, from the 1st to the 5th century. After the discovery of these ruins by Sir Alexander Cunningham in 1848, Colonel Lumsden in 1852 opened the stupa of the site but found little of significant value. Nineteen years later, in 1871, Lieutenant Crompton excavated the site and unearthed a large number of Buddhist sculptures which are now part of the British Museum and the Indian Museum in Calcutta. Crompton's excavation of these ruins also discovered a Karoshti inscription which is now in Peshawar Museum for safe keeping. In 2012, another archaeological excavation at the site which were funded by the government of Japan and UNESCO led to the discovery of coins aging back to 158 to 195 AD and that supposedly belonged to King Hovishi. These excavations were conducted by a team of students from the Hasara University of Pakistan. A Buddha statue, a terracotta plate with Karoshti script and five rooms from a two-story house were also discovered along with traces of a lake. This place is the main stupa or the main stage. This is the place where Buddhist commemorated monument, sacred relics associated with the Buddha or other saintly persons are usually housed, and those compartment-like enclosures surrounding this main stupa are chapels. Those rows of quarters that you see around here are probably used as residence, if not solitary meditation rooms for scholars and monks because meditation is one of the tools that Buddhism employs to gain guided transformation of their practitioners. Buddhism asked its followers to understand the world and themselves in a deep and transforming way. If they succeed, they are believed to have been awakened or to have been Buddha. Buddhism is an organized religion for the well-formed Sangha or the Brotherhood of Monks and Buddha is considered an incarnation of Lord Vishnu according